Good morning, guys. A good good morning to all of those who tune into the real stand in the world. Coming to you this morning from Bovista, Brazil. Look at the scenery here, buddy. Look at the scenery here. Imagine waking up in the morning coming to this. I was here last night at the poolside and I was thinking how much effort goes in to um, scenery, environment. It's important. The environment that you're in and how it makes you feel is important. Um, right? The environment that you're in and and as a, as a result of the environment created around you and how it makes you feel. That's very important. A lot of people don't know that. I think Guyanese don't know that. That's why we got a garbage city. Um, if you look at over the years, why do we have, why develop, look, look at this place, look at this place. Look at this place, like this is a hotel so you might look at look at the the space here coconut trees and why all the space why don't we just put up plenty rooms and and uh, no because you create an environment that is worthwhile staying in that makes you comfortable when you're here you need space you need you need a sense of grandeur you understand you need to have that sense like all of this was all the space about and you know but it, it creates an environment and an atmosphere that is calming, that is comfortable, that people would want to experience, you know, from time to time. By the way, um, so this morning is going to be quick, it's about half an hour, because um, this place, that European style, charging setup and I um, I just rushed to come over here I was going through deep south Rupununi uh, Lorraine connected blessed in coming to the front good morning to all I, I can't see I don't have my glasses um, I lost my reading glasses somewhere and then um, I turn on the light on this thing because it's about 70% in this phone. You barely get about half an hour out of this, 20 minutes. Um, but you know I have to come on in the morning. I have to motivate you, especially Sunday morning. And I'm coming to you from the city of Bovista. Uh, one of the first, it's actually the second city. When you come into Brazil from Lethem, you enter the Roraima area and there's um, Bomfing and then Bovista. The next major city from here is Manaus. And um, you might not know, but Brazil is a country of 270 million people. Right? Uh, Brazil is not a small country, it's a developed country, and is our neighbor. What do you learn? What can you learn from your neighbor? What can you learn from the people close to you? Like in general, not Brazil. What can you learn from your neighbor, your neighbor? That's why people just go to a certain area, people of a certain class, or people who see themselves a certain way. Like if you're moving up in life, or consider yourself moving up in life, um, you go to a certain area to live. You don't just, you ain't gonna go in the ghetto. You know what I'm you're moving up, you're moving up, you're acting a certain manner, you carry yourself a certain way. Now my question here, you know something, when you're a thinker, such as I am, when you're a thinker, recently I saw Nigel Hughes after um, vying for party leadership and taking up the leadership, winning that position, taking up the leadership of the EFC. I saw 
he worked a specific demographic. He started working a specific demographic, and it's the Amerindian people. And I, I wondered why. And as much as I have been told by PPP surrogates, I would call it government officials and so on, and I would listen of all the works that they did for the people and so I've been in Georgetown, I haven't come to the interior for quite some time. Seeing is believing. And I continue to say this, that I'm not doing enough to expose and highlight what is going on in this country. And it is a matter of fact. It is one of my present shortcomings because I am one of the few people in Guyana who have the capabilities, capacity, skill set and everything else to show Guyanese raw truth of Guyana like I did in the past and I have not been doing that. Now, it's not easy for me. There are challenges, there are constant challenges in my life Fortunately, I'm good at what I do, and when I overcome challenges, the rewards are great. But nonetheless, I have shortcomings. Because being the only person that has the skill set that I have, I am not doing all I could do for my people. And it upsets me sometimes. But again, I'm willing to accept that I have shortcomings. I've had personal issues going on in my life. I've, I've, I continually have work challenges. Like recently, if, just a short while ago, while all the mayhem was going on, there was an elaborate attempt to sabotage water in the, in the fuel tanks of my vehicle things that damage machinery engines, hundreds of millions of dollars that we've lost. I don't talk about these things every time I document them. So when the time comes, I could say, look at what happened. You know, people expect my life, because I talk about things every day, I, I, I would. No, but I don't. Now I'm in Georgetown, haven't come, I've been known to go across Guyana, I've been to most of the Amerindian, out of 200 or something Amerindian communities across Guyana, I've been to most of them, whether this is in Region 1, Region 7, Region 8, I've been to a lot of Amerindian communities. And Amerindian people for the most part have not had a favorable hand since the beginning of politics in this country. But again, that is because of how they are spread out through sparsely populated areas. A lot known as satellite communities across Guyana. I'm in Georgetown and I'm seeing Nigel Hughes going and talking about Amarini people and Amarini people shooting in pit latrine and and the toilets, and, and, and I'm watching and I'm thinking, man, I think they're right with these people. I'm hearing what the government is saying, that is not true, and how much they're doing, but I'm seeing what Nigel Hughes is saying too. He's taking out photographs, he's sharing a bag and an umbrella. I can't know what I don't know. I've went to these Armenian communities many times. Now I'm seeing Nigel Hughes going with the AFC and I'm thinking this is something. Things maybe have changed in this community. Let me go myself and see. So on Saturday after today's Sunday yesterday was Saturday Friday. On Friday after returning from the interior. You guys know on Thursday I was in the interior, Mabura. After returning from the interior on Saturday morning, on Friday morning, sorry, I booked a flight to Lethem. 
and Friday, I returned from Mabura Friday morning. Good morning, my brother. Monday morning, it's Monday morning. What, it's this? Sunday, it's Monday. Oh shit, this is, Mo yeah, yeah, this is Monday, Raja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Safe, safe. Right. So, yesterday, I went, oh shit, I, I get it mixed up. So, yesterday, I went into Marudi. So, Saturday, I was on a flight. So I came out from Mubura, which is in the interior um, of Guyana, gold mining areas in the interior of Guyana, on Saturday morning about one o'clock. I woke up, I do my life, I did my life um, in the studio. You guys saw me in the studio Saturday. And I then booked a flight to Lethem. On Saturday, I was in Lethem on Saturday afternoon. Yesterday, I went to a community called Shalton and visited a mining area, the Marudi Mountain Mining Area. Been through a lot of Armenian communities. Ashalton, from Lethem to Ashalton is a four hour drive. Four hours driving true Amerindian communities sparsely spread across an amazing landscape. I took out photographs in there. Picturesque is, is, is an understatement. It captivates the essence of what a heaven would be like. Amazing is no term to suggest what this experience is that experience it's beautiful and i drive through these desolate areas and i see happy people things are not perfect with them but they're happy i went to a shelter yeah, I went to Ashalton and was surprised to see for the first time, I've never seen that before, fiberglass utility poles, lampposts, in the community of Ashalton. And I gotta go back and show you these things live. I ain't taking up no picture and showing anybody. By the way, from Lethem to Ashalton, Digicel, not able to do um live videos but digital service where did that come from when was those things implemented there is no amerindian community from Latin community based community that doesn't have internet access where and when was that implemented I went through communities that have water, well water, that is powered by solar. A Shelton has asphaltic road through the main street. Asphaltic road, a Shelton. Digital signal. And I ask myself, where are the people who Nigel Hughes find to uncover these issues? Are there people in Guyana, in Barbies, in tongues, in communities that use latrine toilets still? Is latrine toilets a thing of the past or do we still use them from time to time? I ask myself, why do Nigel Hughes choose the Amerindian people? Do he get a sense that the Amerindian people might not know who he is? Is it a case where the Amerindian people are very hospitable and he would capitalize on that opportunity? Or Nigel Hughes reads in 
and assume that the Amerindian people are not the smartest out of the bunch here. I'm asking. I'm not suggesting that. I'm asking. Because I try to get an understanding of how we continue to see Nigel Hughes in these Amerindian communities with the Amerindian people. <sighs> but he failed to recognize things that the past administration that he would have been a part of did not implement. I went to Shalton where for the first time in my life I saw fiberglass utility poles. We don't have that in the city of Georgetown. The man's a big utility pole, six or something feet long, two people as I said. Made and brought from Brazil. I went to the Marudi mining area. That the PNC AFC government shut down. And I went to Marudi mining area yesterday. There was a bustling operation. Hundreds of people working. Jobs created. Hundreds of people working. Everybody got motorbike. I, I drive through communities yesterday. We are two Armenian men pulling wood, lumber, tie on at the back of a bike and pulling wood with motorbike. I see a man fetching a big generator on a motorbike. Somebody was it was suggesting why they don't get a donkey car. The driver who is a mixed man at the gear. Some man motorbike. Um, donkey car blue my hair, but them things they blue eye, but bus government does give bus and truck to them community, a tractor and trailer. You live here but no donkey cat. We drive past, I see a nicely fenced thing with a chicken pen. I didn't even know it was a chicken pen. I says, what's going on there? What is this, a market? It looked like, you know, them V-roof kind of thing, like how we markets this day. The old time market set up, like Parika market and stuff. And I said, my, is what I got? And the man said, no, there's a chicken pen. Government build a chicken pen for them. The people eat out the chicken. And then wait for government for bring back no chicken. They put back no chicken. <laughs> no, none of we imperfect. None of we imperfect. But for what the contribution is, for what the contribution is, the contribution that the forest people have made to this country, they're being adequately compensated. I went to Shelton a few years ago, just the government came into power. The mood Rudy operation is that I went there to find out what it was about and why it wasn't working. Marudi mining. And Ashalton was a abysmal place. No jobs, people dung, people suffering, people crying. I went to Ashalton yesterday and in Maroudi. And it is a bustling place. Like a city center. It's action. Minjins all the time. Money making. Why? Does Nigel use selectively go through the communities and I will go through these communities. I will go through these Amarini communities. I will highlight the shortcomings, but also what is going on. Do you know none of these Amarini communities with all the funds they get have any accountability? No accountability whatsoever. These Amarini communities and the main city come the same operation. PNC style management, take money, do whatever you want for doing it. Nobody cares. I have to be accountable though. I have to constantly ask and give answers for the contracts that I have been given. You have to be accountable.
I ask myself continually, what is the motive? No. No way people are following the AFC in great numbers. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hi, uh, morning. Do you morning live? Yes, my brother, live and direct. Live and direct. I got a question for you, man. This garbage truck, them, who run brothers, if you bag off your grass, what do you read your yard with? If they just take it. I think you might have to give them something extra for that. When Puran okay, brothers good. come, I, uh, when Puran brothers come, I I beg them man, and they still want to do it. Hold for me, hold for me. All right. Hey, Junior. Hmm. No, call poor and me a critic. A critic, see. Roger that, Yeah, my brother. So here now. Yeah. Do you ah. pay Puran's to empty your garbage? No, 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 no. Okay, well, here we have no. Government pay. pays them. Government yeah. pays them to empty a barrel. Oh. You understand? Oh. Not any oh, amount of garbage enough. you throw to so. But what you can do with a little flexibility, ask them by his man, give them a something more, and let them throw the garbage oh, inside the field. Oh, you understand? Oh, oh, oh. Because oh, Puran brothers, they got private disposal where they uh -huh. do it for you you pay them for empty the garbage but if poor and brothers is coming around your community government pays them i think george don't you there diamond scheme well yes you know tongue type communities government is paid them and that is really the extent is a barrel because if you left we oh. like, like let me say we now let me say Guyanese, we, if you left anyone, oh, yeah. scunt, we are called down tree, you understand? No, here, them yeah. banner got, when you got extra thing for trouble, they got um a skip bin, you call it. They got a big skip bin, they got a small skip bin, $12,000. You can get a skip yeah. bin from Puran Brothers, and they come and drop it for 24 hours, you load up all your garbage from the backyard and send up, and they come oh. and carry it to it. Yes, sir. But okay. remember, if it's uh -huh. here, if you got a two bar, three bar grass. You know, ram them down and push them in the rubbish, winter man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. And all of that. Here was the next thing. You got grass, you chip it up, and you make mulch, buddy. You got to find an easy way for doing things all around it. Yeah, you mix it in a little dirty, and it breaks down. And, and the plants so are planting. Roger. You just got to find ways of right. means. Uh, all right, man. Thank you for your advice, Felix. Roger, brother. All right. It's not everything. Yeah, not everything is perfect, but like you go, we, we there, oh God, you want to throw the grass, the grass, I throw it. And they got people that take the grass, mix them with a little dirty, um, um, mix little vegetable skin and orange peel and all kind of all that thing we get, and, and, and create compost. And you put them nice around the plants. You understand? They got many things we can do. What are we doing? What are we willing to do? So I just received information. GGMC and mismanagement. Now again, me not beat up. Me not got issue with the fault pen. Fault pen run now. Messy. These same Amerindian people were Nigel Hughes of a fine. The innocence, you understand? Like them drop from heaven, them they know nothing. The same Armenian people, them are fuck up too. Just like how black people and Indian people are fuck up in Jashong, Armenian people are fuck up too. That's what me say. That's all me say. Now I was in front of the GGMC get him the fault pen. Set the fault pen for them and so. Mismanagement. 
What are they gonna say? Me pass, me see the foul pen. Somebody give off, what are you going to say now? So we never hold them accountable. Them are the first people and they could just do what they want to do. You want a piece of the action. But you don't want to be responsible for your action. You can't work so. You understand what I'm saying? So I was informed that it's GGMC do the thing for them. The Marudi miners going to boost them up back again to make sure they get in the community. The GGMC, like they did it for the ladies, the women, them in the community. But they fuck it up. That's what I'm saying. How Nigel used not see that? Me pass me, say, I say, how I go on there? Right? These are things that has happened. Everything is not perfect. They are not perfect. We are not perfect. Yeah, none of them are perfect. You understand? When you go to these Amarillo communities, they're getting LCDs money, lump sum, enough money, no accountability. No accountability. Who's dealing with that? Tabu, good morning. Kesha, good morning to you. Baljit Bihari Gita. I can't see shit. I, I, I'm killing myself trying to see where we're going on there. I don't even know where last my glasses. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, what tell you? That coffee there. For some reason, you know, you know, it's a long water curry. Eh? You know, it's a long water curry. It's like if your curry was swank, <laughs> right? You didn't taste it? No, you taste it. Well, here now. Long water curry is when they try to stretch the curry. It's when I see a lady walking, I stretch her ass. The lady got side of the pool there. I, say, I thought she was going to jump overboard. Yeah. Long water curry is when you try to stretch the curry, right? Think rough with you, you try to stretch the curry. Well, here what I tell you. Guyana does make a long water coffee. Like you search over the coffee, you got to run the water over your mouth. Right? Like it was a salic penta. So, no, 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 for find the coffee. This thing here in Brazil, because Brazil is coffee country, by the way, if you don't know, Brazil is a coffee country. Like all the states. I don't think states was, America was a coffee country. America, no, no. America is a coffee country. But the real coffee, like, thing come from, they inherit. Brazil is a coffee country. This coffee, black to blood clot, and when you taste it, you want for know if it's grind coffee, damp with water. You tasting car, this coffee that you partner. You understand? This would, here I tell you, try this for a dead man to bring it back. And this is going to bring back dead. This thing might be able to be used as Viagra too. This thing will bring back nothing. <laughs> No, 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 Joe. When me taste the coffee there just now. Mm. And by we there, we stop at Linden 5 car and they had to get some coffee. That actually will have a throwback some more. And then my mix, me know is working coffee though. You understand? There's not long water. There's a wash down coffee. Right? Yeah. This coffee here, this real coffee. When you come to Brazil, and anyway, all the road stops and so you stop, they got a nice circle, strong coffee. You understand? Right away you pork up. You call it pork up. Like this would wake up the dead. You imagine drink coffee and get a boner? Mm? Walking around with though. Mm -mm. So I'm telling you. Everything is not perfect. And when you go to the community of Ashalton, there are things that the people have not gotten. Oh, Jesus Christ, like we did, don't the five percent. They get even more dark. Me not even see myself now. Me get darker than the coffee here, right? Now. So when you go to the community of Ashalton, let me wrap it up quick for you. And and I'm looking at how AFC and I'm gonna be on this road constantly, and I'm gonna highlight even the issues the building have. If there's shortcomings with the government, let me show it up. Let the people get things. But let me also accept where we are in this country 
and our shortcomings. Nobody's perfect. But when he going and make it out like Amarinya, people are sidelined. Now, if I go to Shelton, there are things that people would want. Everybody would want more. Who doesn't want more? But what are the residents of a Shelton doing when they were given a fault and bill? No man never give me nothing, partner. No man never bill nothing and give me. Me being a house in the Adley, then give me a house lot. You hear what I tell you? When you hear an Amarinya man, I got a land here and he get a land from the community. So I ask you how much he pay. Me just get two houses, that one for my mother, one for me. You want to hear how much million dollars for one? Let me go back to town, I got to find money for pay. You understand? All right, you have that opportunity, use the force, people. Nonetheless, you don't build road, you don't do nothing. You expect the last set of people for build road for you, make everything for you. And take your blame to, that can't work. That can't work. Nigel Hughes, I got stir up people and all them community, Amerindian community, stir up people. There's a lot going on. And there's more going on for the Amerindian people in this country than is not going on for them. When pit latching is the extent of, of, of what Nigel Hughes is going to find to talk about in the interior locations and so on, you know, he's making sense. And I went to these communities because I'm saying, he can't be. He can't be so liar. He can't be so wicked and vindictive. It is true. He is. I went all the way from Lethem to Marudi, through a Shalton, a lot of communities. I'm seeing the same thing. There is no community. The whole place, they, they drive it up on the phone, so get the signal. That is recent. I've never experienced that before. Trails, trails where you're driving. I drive through a trail and then pass no other body for three hours and that road leveling up. They have roads and horse telling me people pay millions of dollars for a house lot. It's like hill and valleys. And, and, and the, the government pays to level roads where two people are passing every day in Amerindian communities. We gotta be real. And the Amerindian people themselves too have to be honest with themselves because they have shortcomings too. What is a Shelton doing about it? I just got a call and say, oh, they got, the, the, the miners going to boost them again. There are people with glad for chicken, pen in Georgetown. North Indian people, North black people. Since we always playing race in this country, we're glad. People in Barbies were glad for chicken, pen. people in Bucks were glad for chicken, pen for government to build a chicken, pen for them. A shout in the community, they get it. What they do with it? They eat out all the chicken, they put back nothing. Let's be real. You imagine going to a shelter and seeing asphaltic road? I drove on a brand new asphaltic road. When I look at the lamp post, 60 feet high in the air, big utility pole, it made out of fiberglass. I've never seen that before. You imagine going in bush bottom? Deep South Rupa Nuni for discover that. I've never seen that before. I've been to major cities and never seen that. And it's in the interiors of Guyana. When I find out is where it's carrying, it's carrying from solar energy to communities. Everything is not perfect in our country. But the AFC seems to use this opportunity of Amerindian people being quiet and not very vocal because if they say yes this privilege this problem the billion saying yes yes shaking their head they said they're not talking about their personal shortcomings we gotta be real and i am going to go back to the Amerindian communities because i'm looking at that and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this man is deceiving people this man is misleading this nation because you feel sorry for Amerindian people when you hear about these things happening to them but you gotta tell the whole story you can't tell a part of the story Talk about the shortcomings, talk about their needs, talk about how the communities could be developed more, but also talk about where the communities are and where they're on track. Because Georgetown is a big stinking city. We ain't get that right too. We ain't done get it right. We ain't get Georgetown right. How you could get 16 hours drive out of town in the jungle right? Have we got Georgetown right? You got New Amsterdam right? There's a lot of things we don't have right as Guyanese people. Wake up. Don't be deceived by the AFC. Keep it real all the time.